Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today um, to give you an updated video on the what's out there hood-wise. And, and uh, so I've stacked these hoods here, uh, not by quality and not by performance, but by price. So lowest price at the bottom, highest price at the top. So we're gonna go through each one and I'll just tell you some different uh, features of each one and then the pricing on them. So right at the bottom here, and like I said, not by quality, just by price. The cheapest one right now with the mail-in rebate, about 187, right, is the Lincoln 3350 4C lens technology. Uh, black edition, no graphic. Still a great hood. Um, move quite a few of them. Uh, very good clarity. Next up is the Miller Digital Elite. The uh, Elite series, the clear light technology, uh, very clear, welds really nice. So where these two differ, the next one up is the Digital Infinity. This one costs a little bit more. This one's about 225. This one gets up into like the 250, 260, 270 range, depending on what graphic you get. The only difference between these two is the viewing, the viewing range. So this Infinity has a bigger viewing range than the Elite. Some people like the Elite, some people like the Infinity. Next up for two, 299 is the Sentinel A50. Uh, still one of our more popular hoods that we sell. People love it. Uh, it's got the touch screen and uh, pretty wide viewing range. Real comfortable on your head, ergonomically fits well. Next up on the one is a Panoramax 2.5. So remember that's got the twilight at 2.5. Um, it's extremely large viewing range. Um, it almost sits right on your face like a pair of goggles. Awesome clarity. I've trail, I've been impressed by them since they came out with these. They, I have one, I weld with it. it they're awesome, they're awesome hoods. Next up is the Speed Glass 9100XXI. Still tried and true, quality hood. Made to last, I'm telling you, they're, they're great hoods. Don't let the price scare you on that. And then uh, up top, at the highest price is the Optrail Crystal 2.0. For those, those of you that wanna jump into an awesome hood, but aren't afraid of the price, the Crystal's for you, for sure. Um, priced kind of high, but hey, the quality is unbelievable. The clarity is unbelievable. Uh, you'll love it the minute you strike an arc with it. So to give you an all around review of these hoods, like I said, I didn't place them in quality or in order of quality, but at the bottom, the Lincoln 3350 4C, awesome hood. If you're a beginner welder, uh, you're just getting into this and you don't know what to choose, uh, you're kind of on the fence about some stuff, that 3350 is gonna be Right, right in your price range and the quality on it is awesome. So just, just throwing that out there as an option. If you're a TIG welder, precision TIG welder, whether stainless, aluminum, or mild steel, and you want, you gotta have your viewing range, you gotta have clarity, I would either say both op trails. Awesome hoods. If you're gonna TIG weld, they, I, I've, I've sold them to people that just solely TIG weld, and actually I've sold them to people that do all kinds of welding, and all they want to do is TIG weld with these because they're so they're so good. For longevity in, uh, in an industrial setting, the speed glass cannot go wrong. Down to the Sentinel, same thing, can't go wrong as far as an industrial setting. They block out the smoke well, um, clarity's good. And then the two Millers, once again, the, the technology, they have X mode. Uh, which is a electromagnetic pulse sensing function, so you don't really have to have all the sensors in view of an arc. Very nice. Uh, the clarity on them is great. Infinity's a little bit heavy. More, well, it's more heavy than the Elite, but all in all, both great hoods. Um, I hope this answered everybody's question. Thanks for watching my video, and stay tuned for more videos.